In 2006, I started making uh, stone shadowing, and um, I'll never forget walking down here and seeing Michelle. I think Kumara was with her, and um, a friend. She was with a friend, and I was standing at the top of the hill, and I had a stone statue that was my favorite right at a little intersection. It looked very mystical, and uh, it was a really nice one. And once in a while, the top would fall off, and I put the top back on. And uh, a couple of years later, well, actually, so I was doing this like around 2006, and then a couple of years later is when I ran into her, and um, her dog, she was coming towards me, and her dog started to take a piss on the statue, and I said, your dog is pissing on my statue, just to be funny. And she goes, oh, you're the one that's making the statues? Because I had them all over the place. I had them on cliffs. I had them hidden, little surprise ones. They were really nice. Uh, in the woods, the, the drags don't get a hold of them as much. And um, but, uh, but she wasn't actually excited. She might have like sort of been excited for a split second and then her excitement turned to disappointment because she didn't want it to be me. She was so disappointed that this mystery person that she'd obviously been romanticizing, I don't mean romantically, I just mean imagining, you know, some little a uh, mystic person walking around in a robe or something, who knows. But um, I'll never forget that. And it just really epitomized my experience here in Peekskill. I mean, I could, I literally could discover a cure for cancer and simultaneously someone else will claim it and and I will be despised for it or somehow it will... Um, you know, cause a problem for somebody if it's coming from me. Like, like taking care of the cats, the stray cats in the neighborhood. It's just an absolute mess. The food that this lady has all over the house, I just have to laugh. I mean, I'm glad she's taking care of them. However, uh, the flies, it's just disgusting. If I were doing something like that, they would fine me, threaten me, and really relish in the idea that I, you know, would experience the suffering of the cats along with my own. And, and that's, that's been a, a large part of my life since, uh, since the beating.